Hi, I am Dr. Sakim Mansoor from my channel Learning Anatomy. And uh, today I will uh, start a series of lectures on the anatomy of the thalamus. So first of the lecture is the introduction, boundaries and the subdivisions. The overall learning objectives of the thalamus are uh, list boundaries of the thalamus, the thalamic nuclei and their primary functions. And the third lecture, the connections and the discussion of the blood supply of the thalamus and discussion of the important clinicals of the thalamus and uh, separate discussion on the internal capsule. So the first lecture introduction. So thalamus, this is the outline of the thalamus from the medial aspect of the brain. It's a large ovoid mass of gray matter thalamus about four centimeter long that constitutes major part of the diencephalon. You know diencephalon is hypothalamus and thalamus. Hypothalamus has been, you know, discussed in detail in four or five lectures already in my previous videos and in a playlist on hypothalamus. There are two thalami, each one is situated on side of the third ventricle. You know, third ventricle is the cavity of the diencephalon. It is the largest vein of the diencephalon, the thalamus. So thalamus is the last, largest vein of the diencephalon. It receives precortical input from all sensory systems except olfactory system. Largest input received from cerebral cortex. It projects mainly to the cerebral cortex and to a lesser extent to the basal nuclei and hypothalamus. So performs a key role in sensory and motor system integration. So how important is that? Performs a key role in sensory and motor system integration. It's very important. Hardly I ever found a chapter of a neuro anatomy book where thalamus is not mentioned in any of the my like important lectures. The thalamus is mentioned everywhere. So let's see the boundaries of the thalamus. So anteriorly, it is the interventricular foramen. This is the anterior boundary. This is the outline of the, you know, this is the hypothalamus sulcus and above it is that this is the thalamus, right? This is the thalamus. This, this is the anterior boundary, interventricular foramen through which it communicates with the I mean, uh, lateral ventricle. Lateral ventricle is the cavity of the Telencephalon and the third ventricle is the cavity of the tencephalon. Posteriorly lying the free pole of the pulvinar, right? This is a thalamus, this is the posterior um, aspect. And uh, you see anything uh, this above the superior colliculus, this is part of the uh, thalamus, is the pulvinar. I have the picture. You see this. This is the, you know, uh, thalamus. This is the thalamus. And uh, this is the pulvinar. We'll uh, discuss in detail what is this pulvinar, this nucleus of the thalamus, very important. And uh, ventrally, boundaries of the thalamus, ventrally is a plane connecting the hypothalamic sulci. This is the hypothalamic sulcus and there's a plane connects that forms a ventral boundary of the thalamus. And a dorsally free surface underlying the fornix and the lateral ventricle, right? Here, here you see, this is the body of the fornix. This is fornix and the, and the dorsal surface of the thalamus formed by free surface underlying the fornix and the lateral ventricle. Here it goes, yes. And then laterally, what is the boundary? Lateral boundary of the thalamus, posterior limb of the internal capsule, right? Let's check that. This is, you know, here you go, this, this is the thalamus. And uh, here, this is the internal capsule. And here, this is laying laterally, the thalamus has this internal capsule. And medially is the third ventricle. Obviously, you see in this picture, the, what would be the lying medially, right? This is, you know, it's a uh, section and medially is lying the third ventricle. External features of thalamus continues. It has two ends and four surfaces. And the anterior end, right? This is the thalamus. This is its anterior end. It is narrow and rounded and constitutes posterior boundary of the interventricular foramen. I told and showed you already this is interventricular foramen, forms posterior boundary of foramen, foramen of mano. And this is, you know, uh, anterior end is, you see, this shape is narrow and rounded. 
posterior end this posterior end of the thalamus is expanded and forms a pulmonar pulmonar the pulmonar overhangs the this superior colliculus it should do the pulmonar already you see again pulmonar this is thalamus and this is pulmonar this is pulmonar and surfaces of the thalamus inferior surface is continuous with tegmentum of midbrain right this you see this is the thalamus and the inferior surface this is the midbrain and this is continuous with the tegmentum of the midbrain over here and the medial surface of the thalamus constitutes part of the lateral wall of the third ventricle and is usually connected to the opposite thalamus by a band of gray matter interthalamic adhesion or interthalamic connection this is this is the thalamus of one side and it is connected to the other side thalamus by this interthalamic connection this is the interthalamic connection or interthalamic adhesion other surfaces the lateral surface of the thalamus is related to the internal capsule which separates it from lentiform nucleus you see in this picture and uh, i make it enlarge for you let's see you go zoom in yes here and uh, this is you know thalamus and here we have the this internal capsule superior surface of the thalamus is related laterally to the body of the caudate nucleus from which it is separated by a thalamocardate groove this is the thalamus and this thing is the this is the caudate nucleus and here lies the you know thalamocardate groove a bundle of efferent nerve fibers from amygdala called stria terminalis occupy this group right here you can see this is the you know thalamus this is uh, our uh, caudate nucleus in this picture and this is the stria terminalis right this is here it is stria terminalis so then the subdivisions of the thalamus on its superior surface thalamus is covered by a thin layer of white matter which is called stratum zonale on its lateral surface it is covered by another layer named the external medullary lamina lamina external medullary lamina so i repeat on its superior surface thalamus is covered by stratum zonale which is a white matter thin layer right this is you know superior surface here it would be covered by stratum zonale and uh, laterally you see i enlarge the picture just a bit and here i enlarge yes and you see this external medullary lamina here it is lying right here is put it as stratum zonale gray matter of the thalamus is divided by a vertical sheet of white matter the internal medullary lamina into lateral and medial halves right here it is this is the internal medullary lamina Let's say again enlarge for a while. Please wait. Yes, this is the internal medullary lamina, dividing the thalamus into right and left parts, which have the respected medial and lateral nuclei. So, internal medullary lamina. This is the internal medullary lamina. is made up of nerve fibers that pass from one thalamic nucleus to another anteriorly anteriorly this lamina splits this is the internal medullary lamina anteriorly it splits and forms a y shape this is y shape this and thalamus thus is subdivided into three main parts there are the three main parts which are they anterior part this is the anterior part right which lies between the limbs of the y and then the a lateral part here is the lateral part of the thalamus and this is the medial part right the, these lie respectively on the sides of the stem of the y this is the stem here is the medial side and this is the lateral all three parts of the thalamus contain a group of thalamic nuclei which we dis discussed in the next lecture smaller nuclear groups are located within the internal medullary lamina this is the internal medullary lamina and you see 
there are the nuclei which will be discussed in less, next lecture and some are placed on the medial and lateral surfaces of the thalamus right this is these are the nuclei so this is a large picture i showed you already discussed and i thank you very much uh, for listening uh, to this very first lecture so stay tuned very soon we'll be uploading the next lecture on the thalamus with its nuclei please for my encouragement to subscribe my channel and like and share thank you very much